This is going to be a quick video review of the Ultra, the one squared. I believe that's what that is. This is an awesome running shoe. I love it. Finally, someone has come out with a shoe that has all of the features that I ever wanted in a running shoe. So what are those features? Number one, no heel lift. These shoes are flat. They don't have heel lift or it's their zero drop as the industry likes to call it, which I hate that term, but no heel lift, very good. I like that because you tend not to heel strike. You tend to land more flat or on your forefoot and lessen the impact that way. Also, if you're on your forefoot and not landing on your heel, you're much less likely to roll your ankle on something. I run almost exclusively in the woods on trails that tend to be muddy and rooty and a little bit rocky and I've sprained my ankles numerous times and having a shoe that's flat helps a lot. Another thing is they're very very flexible. Very flexible. Not as flexible as a Nike Free but quite quite flexible. They will bend around stuff if you step on it. You step on a rock, you step on a root that otherwise would turn your ankle in a very stiff shoe. This will bend around it and absorb that obstacle and not turn your ankle, which is a great thing. These have a wide toe box. I started running in the Vibram Five Fingers, got used to having my toes splayed out and it felt great. I went back to running in something like a Nike Pegasus and couldn't stand the heel lift for one thing and I couldn't stand having my toes squished. So nice wide toe box, fantastic feature. These are well cushioned. I could not tell from the Ultra promo video whether or not these were soft or these were like really firm racing flats, but these are pretty soft. The Ultra has softer shoes, but these are soft enough for me for running in the woods. On the roads, yeah, I would like something a little bit softer. However, most people run in much harder shoes on the road, so I have a feeling anybody would love these on the road. The next thing is they have good traction. I had a pair of Instincts, I still have them, Ultra Instincts, which had horrible traction in the mud. These have great traction in the mud. Not great traction, but good enough traction. This is a fairly deep cutout and they tend to not slip too much in the mud and they don't slip much sideways either. This, this long ridge here. I probably would have preferred they cut this out so there's no, in, no uh, tendency to hit on this section of the shoe and slide, but I haven't really found that to be the case. I think these are pretty good in the woods. Also, these shoes are quite lightweight. There's, there's nothing to them. That had me worried that they would not have enough protection or cushion, and these have enough protection for me in the woods in western Massachusetts where our rocks are round and our roots are plentiful. I am not getting bone bruises like I did with the Vibram Five Fingers and I love these shoes. I just love them. So really good shoe. Maybe not the best trail shoe for out west where the rocks are much sharper. I did I understand out west why you guys put rock plates and things, but in the east, we don't need them. I did one hike out in the Maroon Bells in Colorado. And I used Nike Freeze for that, and my feet were killing me when I was done with the hike. So I understand why you guys put rock plates and things, why you make your some of your trail shoes wicked hard. But out east, this is a great setup for a trail shoe. Love them. Just love them. Thank you, Ultra. Somebody finally made close to the ideal running shoe, as close to the ideal running shoe as I have ever owned. Thank you.